Hello there guys, Coaster Chattel here, Donkster Born, Bob Bill for Theme Parks, and welcome to a Halloween update. Ooh, spooky. Uh, I wish I had my saw mask on now. Um, but yeah, this is the Halloween update, and it's from Yorkshire Scaregrounds in Wakefield, because they're going to be celebrating 10 years of fear this year in 2021. Please, COVID. Give us a proper Halloween event. Uh, but the 10 years of fear has been celebrated this year. And we have the announcement over the last week or so of three attractions, scare attractions, for their event. So we're going to be going through all the descriptions on their Instagram posts um, of these three new attractions. Of these three scare attractions. We're going to share with you the official concept pictures to promote these different attractions and share my thoughts on the theme, the look, the scare factor, what could be happening and share my overall thoughts on all of that. So before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer every single day to 2,300 subs. Our goal by the end of this year is 4,000 subscribers and 1 million views, which would be unbelievable. So please, please, please make sure you go and do that. Also, guys, just check out the description down below where you can find links to our TikTok page, our Instagram page, our Snapchat page, and our uh, Twitter page and our Discord server. Interact with me on all of that. It's not just the channel's uh, pages. It's my personal ones as well. So you can interact with me if you've got any video ideas. Or there is a way to send your video ideas in. Google Forms. The link's in the description down below. If you've got any video ideas, go and put them in. Get your video ideas in. We're going to record a lot of videos over the summer. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the three new attractions. The three scare attractions that's going to be opening as part of the 10 Years of Fear 2021 event at Yorkshire Scaregrounds in Wakefield. So number one is Undead Central Scare Zone. This was the first attraction uh, revealed by Scaregrounds uh, about 11 days ago. So it's, it, I wanted to wait until a couple more have been revealed before we do the full video on it. Uh, but there will be more released in the future. But this was first revealed on the 10th of March. And the description says as follows. It wouldn't be Halloween without zombies. So we're going to put you right in the heart of the action in the all-new Undead Central pulse-pounding scare zone. Enter an apocalyptic nightmare full of bloody thirsty zombies, driven to an adrenaline fueled frenzy of raging madness. With only one way in and one way out, will you make it through to the safe zone? So this is very much your scare zone. This is very much a, a scare zone attraction. So you're going to be going what in one way, out the other, zombies around you, and I've got a feeling some nice theming items around you as well. So all in all, very like the look of this Undead Central Scare Zone attraction. Attraction number two is the Factory of Fear. Are you brave enough to enter? Uh, on the outskirts of the meatpacking district, an abandoned manufacturing plant shut down for many years has suddenly reopened, but the only thing is manufacturing is fear. Stench from the plant can be smelt from afar. Do you have the guts to enter? Which is very, very interesting there. The Factory of Fear. It kind of gives me vibes of the the Meat Locker uh, that's at um, York Makes Hallow Scream. I was interested to see if that comes back this year. Um, but yeah, that's at York Makes Hallow Scream. That's like a, a bloodthirsty slaughterhouse maze. And I like how they've got the the sort of... It's kind of like a mix. It, you can see by the concept art with the, the faces, the skin faces being attached to frames and stuff like that. It feels like a cross between the meat locker with the slaughterhouse style uh, theming going on. And also it has the feel of skin snatchers. Altonville Mind Tours, The Legend of the Skin Snatchers. Hashtag Snatcher Skin. At Alton Towers Scarefest. It kind of has that feel about it as well. So it's a mix between skin snatchers and um, and the meat locker. So I mean just to see how they stylize this. But again, this just is an amazing looking attraction. And, a, and very much a slaughterhouse good time. <laughs> And the final announcement that came out just a couple of days ago is an, a brand new scare experience uh, known as Totally Tropical Terror. 
bit of a tongue twister that one. Uh, descend into the swamps if you dare as the voodoo queen is lurking in the shadows performing her sadistic twisted rituals on anyone who dare disturb her. Her evil black magic and violent streak has disfigured her servants who roam the night in a zombie-like state looking for fresh victims. Uh, so this definitely does sound like um, a nice looking attraction. It's a brand new attraction for the for the event. And it's nice to see them investing in something new for the event. I think Totally Tropical Terror sounds amazing. It's kind of got vibes of Vulcan Peak at Thor Park Fright Nights a few years ago. But I'm guessing this will be a better, better version. Um, I think this, th I hope this is a better version than Vulcan Peak because it got terrible reviews Vulcan Peak. So I think this will be better than Vulcan Peak, but I think in terms of the theme and the storyline, that's what I'm getting vibes from. It's also got a bit of vibes from the Crows, which was the Roman characters from the Fright Nights Festival last year, uh, where it's like uh, a group or a swarm of, of, of people roaming around. So is this a scare zone? Is this a scare maze? We don't technically know yet, uh, but it definitely sounds like it could be maybe a scare zone from the sounds of it, with the roaming um, zombie-like servants looking for fresh victims, uh, or maybe it is a scare maze with a with the storyline and with the storyline going through it and you're sort of going through this uh, swamp thing. Maybe it's an outdoor scare maze. Maybe it's a scare maze, but outdoors. Who knows? Uh, but from all these three announcements. Uh, it's definitely going to be absolutely amazing to see all these three attractions and more come to life for the 10 years of fear at Yorkshire Scaregrounds. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at the three, the first three scare attractions announced for Yorkshire Scaregrounds 2021, the 10th anniversary of the event. Now, this is definitely going to be a wonderful attraction. I think all three of them are going to be wonderful attractions. Undead Central Scare Zone, brilliant. Apocalyptic Devastation, love it. Uh, totally Tropical Terror, the brand new attraction for this year. Uh, or what, or maybe possibly one of new, many new attractions for this year. Um, got the whole voodoo style with uh, a bit of Vulcan Peak theming and storyline inspiration going on there. So very, very nice indeed. Um, and, you know, the obviously, obviously the other one, the Factory of Fear, you know, again, this sounds absolutely amazing. And I think that overall, this is going to be an incredible event. I've got no doubt this will be an incredible event. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will try and get out. Hopefully, if, you know, we're all working to this June 21st date where finally the whole country will be vaccinated and it'll feel a lot safer in the world and traveling everywhere in the country and stuff like that. Not abroad, obviously, yet, but in the country, definitely. So hopefully, you know, all that gets sorted around the summertime and, you know, we're allowed to go out a bit more and things like that. And Yorkshire Scaregrounds is definitely one of the events I'm looking to do uh, this year for Halloween. So... You know, I'm really excited for that. Obviously, York Maze Hallow Scream is definitely top of my list this year because I missed it last year because uh, of COVID. So, oh, and it wasn't operating because of COVID. So, hopefully, you know, York Maze uh, Hallow Scream is definitely top of my list. Um, Yorkshire Scaregrounds is on there. Scarefest at Alton Towers is on there. Thought Park Fright Nights could be a possibility. Blackpool Pleasure Beach Journey to Hell Freak Nights. Again, massive possibility this year. So, there's a lot of events I want to do this year. A lot of things I want to do for the for the channel. And, you know, Yorkshire Scaregrounds is definitely one of them. Uh, so, it should be very, very interesting indeed. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this Halloween update. Make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribing. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a spooktacular-tastic Ooh.